Creating a will is an invaluable right that has been recognized since the beginning of civilization. Judges are thus reluctant to invalidate a testator's will due to lack of testamentary capacity. But if a jury invalidates a will on this basis, as was the case in Wilson v. Lane, the question for the court becomes how much weight to give to the jury's decision. In 2000, Jewel Jones Greer died testate, or with a will. The will was executed in 1997 and named Catherine Lane, Greer's caretaker, as executrix. In the will, Greer devised her estate equally to 16 of her relatives and to Lane. When Lane sought to admit the will to probate, Floyd Wilson, Greer's brother-in-law, filed a caveat, or will contest, challenging Greer's capacity to validly execute the 1997 will. Wilson argued that Greer wasn't of sound mind when she executed her will. To support this claim, Wilson presented evidence that Greer was eccentric and feeble in the last years of her life. He also presented expert testimony that, at the time of the will's execution, Greer may have been suffering from Alzheimer's or senile dementia. The expert hadn't examined Greer and relied on a review of her medical files for his testimony. Additionally, evidence was admitted that Lane filed a guardianship petition for Greer a few months after the will was executed. Lane countered by offering the testimony of the attorney who drafted the will and others close to Greer that Greer was competent when she signed the will. The jury found that Greer lacked testamentary capacity at the time she executed her will. Lane filed a motion for judgment notwithstanding the verdict, asking the trial court to set aside the jury's verdict and find that Greer had testamentary capacity. The trial court granted the motion, and Wilson appealed. The Georgia Supreme Court agreed to hear the case. 